Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint Server Subscription Edition. This is the newest edition in the SharePoint on-premises side and this is released for the public preview recently. And uh, here we will see uh, what are the new features and uh, basically what are the installation requirements on the software side and then prerequisites, some kind of things you will see. And uh, in future videos, we will see more features as well. Now here are few new features are there always up to date continuous up to date uh, there are 11 uh, features that we will uh, discuss uh, these things in this particular post and uh, then um, so basically if you are uh, if you are new to the on premises version of you are using it you can see very frequently microsoft release the versions uh, sharepoint 2013 2016 now people are still uh, migrating to 2016 then 2019 already came and then now the uh, newest edition which is the uh, SharePoint uh, uh, server subscription edition. Now for this I have created a complete blog post as well so we'll go through each and every feature that we uh, I have explained in the PPT but here are the things. Now in the SharePoint uh, uh, subscription edition you can see uh, the first thing you will get it always up to date like in the sharepoint online we have a lot of updates by microsoft uh, release every time and uh, we don't have to wait for it so they will always up to date that version so same thing that uh, here uh, the intention of sharepoint server subscription edition is you will get uh, you know up to date features uh, so it will be more reliable performance oriented and people in your organization will be more empowered uh, so that they can achieve more and then continuous updates now this is one major thing which was uh, not there in the sharepoint server editions basically uh, you have to wait for a major update to get some features now microsoft is saying that you don't have to wait for a major update for these things they will uh, release regular updates and so that your on-premises users will get new features like you know sharepoint uh, online version hopefully uh, this this edition is uh, you know will stay for some more time uh, because you know um, we, people have not completely migrated and then a, a new feature is coming or new version is coming and then microsoft slowly stopping the uh, the support as well so companies will be forced to upgrade to the newer newer version as well for new features now in this case you will get continuous update uh, the another major uh, thing that will come here is upgrade from any version to sharepoint server subscription edition you don't have to go to the intermediate versions now for example um, let's say you are using sharepoint 2010 and you want to migrate to sharepoint 2019 then you have to go from 2010 to 2013 2013 to 2016 2013 to 2019 then uh, sorry 2016 to 2019 that means you cannot skip a particular version so you have to upgrade uh, you know uh, from one version to another another and then finally your um, the targeted version but in this case what uh, they are saying is you don't have to do anything whatever version you are you can migrate directly or you can upgrade directly to uh, your uh, sharepoint uh, server subscription edition then there are authentication support um, open id connect uh, oidc 1.0 which is uh, uh, the newest thing that uh, sharepoint server edition supports and uh, this is a modern authentication uh, which will help you uh, your application and the devices in your organization's identity and authentication management solution so they can use that and few providers are azure uh, ad active directory active directory uh, federation services uh, 2016 like this these are a few things which are uh, authentication side it is supported now there are improvements in people picker as well so without writing any custom code uh, your sharepoint server sub subscription edition the people picker can resolve users and groups uh, based on their uh, profile so if it is there you don't have to write any other uh, custom code for uh, resolving the users so that will be taken care uh, by the in, in by default itself and uh, this will be helpful more on the modern authentication systems like sml 1.0 or oidc 1.0 Apart from that, uh, this supports Windows Server uh, 2020, 20, uh, 2020 edition, so 2.0.2.2 edition. Um, so you will get the default features whichever they are in, uh, in the Windows Server. So more security and features are there like TSL 1.3. So TS, TSL encryption is by default in, in this. So uh, there will be a secure communication between two endpoints. So that will that will be supported and uh, so whatever the features are there in the windows server uh, you are going to get it 
and another important thing is that now we can install in windows server core edition not only you have to wait for the or use the desktop experience uh, for the operating system side you can install in the core edition as well so that is supported in fact that is supported if you are using windows server 2019 also or windows server 2022 uh, also power cell side so you don't have to write uh, um, when you are uh, basically if you want to connect to your sharepoint on premises from your power cell then you have to write the add uh, hyphen ps snap in uh, command so you don't need to do that so that will be there uh, in in the power cell itself so you can just open the power cell and you can use it so that is one good thing that is there and also the search uh, it is there now the list search in the modern experience you will get uh, your list and library items in the are searchable in the modern ui as well ui as well improvements in the modern experience as we are seeing there are a lot of in improvements in the um, online side so in the list and libraries so hopefully we will get more things on the on premises uh, side as well when you will create list and libraries so there are imp improvements on, on this and as i said before there will be frequent updates regular updates will be there i'm sure if microsoft will release uh, some of the features in sharepoint online list and libraries they will try to put that in on premises as well which will be a good thing you will not see much difference on that then image and document thumbnails so by default in the uh, it will create uh, uh, the thumbnails in the tiles view so if you are not if you are new to this then there is a tiles view where you can display the items in the list and libraries so that's a view basically so you can in those in in the on premises edition subscription edition now you it will create the thumbnail so that you can see overall what is the type of file it is and a few things which are supported is PND, JPG, GIF, Word document, PowerPoint, Excel, PDF, rich text. So all these uh, things are supported now. Now here are these are the few uh, you know uh, the requirements or sorry the updated or the new features. I'll keep on updating things when I'll get to know more things. So you can uh, I'll put this link in the video description. Uh, uh, this one uh, this uh, blog post link so that you will have uh, everything will get in this particular uh, article. And then the installation requirement, as I said, uh, it will be now supporting 2019 uh, Windows Server and 22022. These two are supported. Again, standard data center are core. Both the things are supported. So previous Windows servers are not supported. That means if you want to use the subscription edition, then you have to use either 2019 or uh, 2022 um, uh, operating system Windows Server. You have to use it. So even if you want to uh, go for a development environment, you just have to you install anything uh, from this to 2019 or 2022. Uh, like the previous version, Microsoft also doesn't uh, support installing Office and SharePoint su Server subscription edition on the same computer. This is not there from 2016, 2019 as well. So that those things are not supported. And uh, these are the four things which Microsoft has put in the image documents, which I uh, or in the docs document I have taken from this. These four things will be you need to install it serially. Um, either you can do this, or uh, when you download it, you will have the prerequisite installer.exe file, you will run it, and then it will install these things. Or individually, you can even download it and install it. So it's up to you if you are trying to install something. So I have put the link here again. This is the preview version. As I said, when the uh, original version will come or the uh, live version will come, I'll put that link as well. So this is the preview version now. Uh, if you want to install, download and install and use it, you can uh, you can follow these links and uh, then you can use. Uh, this is obviously a dot ISO file like previous editions and you can use mount dix image uh, then you can provide the path so, so that you can extract it. So once you extract it, you, will, you can see the prerequisite installer.exe file as well. So uh, there are also the keys I have put. These are the trial keys, which uh, which is there for 180 days. So you can go through the feature, everything, uh, and these are the keys that you can use it. So also I have put the link here uh, for the um, for the installation. Very soon I'm going to install it and I'll uh, put the step by step with screenshot everything on that. Uh, but as of now you can follow this and uh, moreover what i saw if you want to install in a desktop you know, for yourself in a laptop or something like that then it will be same the steps will be same like sharepoint 2016 but only thing is you need to uh, follow the software uh, guidelines that means the server edition and then you have to go for the install uh, prerequisite installer.exe file that you can do it 
so so this is how um, the new edition i have just give you a overview on sharepoint server subscription edition um, migration things so um, um you should now prepare uh, for let's say you are using still 2013 or 2010 or you know 2016 then you should uh, uh, try to migrate to, i mean you should plan for it definitely that you cannot migrate now but you should plan for it that you should go for sharepoint server subscription edition and if you have not uh, i mean if you have already taken license for 2019 or something yes you can use that but this is the latest version and uh, latest edition and then um new things will come um they will uh, take the feedback microsoft team and then definitely there will be improvements more improvements but surely in this edition you are going to get new features as there are always a continuous update will be there so you will see lot of new features that microsoft will release and it will be very much user friendly for your end users as well like how it is there for sharepoint online now so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to the channel you will get lot of free videos in in sharepoint office 365 power platform spfx all these things you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day